Hi out there, this is Gary Moore speaking. And before we start the show tonight, I'd like you to meet some of the interesting celebrities who are in our audience. First, there is Mr. Joe McCallum of Peoria, Illinois. Let's have a big hand for Mr. McCallum of Peoria, Illinois. As I'm sure you know, Mr. McCallum is the president of the Peoria Society for the Preservation of Sunny Tufts. <laughs> nice to have you with us, sir. Now let's go over to the left, and who do we have next? Well, look who's here all the way from Oceanside, Long Island. Mr. Frank McNamara. Mr. McNamara, take a bow. I have a large hand for Mr. McNamara. <laughs> Mr. McNamara, of course, is the chairman of the board of the Oceanside Home for the Bald. Nice to have you with us, sir. And now a little further up. Wait a minute. There's a somewhat familiar face. What is, what is your name, sir? I'm Ed Sullivan. I got a secret, Gary. I've got a secret. Sorry. Gary Moore. And thank you, too, Ed. We'll be seeing you in just a minute. Welcome, friends, to this... Another edition of I've Got a Secret on just a magnificent night in New York City. The entire city is just covered with a beautiful five-inch blanket of slush. <laughs> and according to the weatherman, it's going to go down to five degrees below. Did you hear that? Yeah. Yeah. Five below, and boy, if that happens, you may never see us again. We'll never get out of here alive. Whole city is going to be one big ice cube with manhole covers on it. <laughs> but about this game of ours now called I've Got a Secret, I hope you're familiar with it. It's a snoopy sort of a game in which we reveal the awful truth about some very nice people just for fun. Tonight we have information about the private lives of some interesting folk, and they're going to try to keep that information secret from our panel. Here, then, is our panel. To begin with, there is Bill Cullen. <laughs> and Jane Meadows. And Henry Four Eyes Morgan. And Faye Emerson. That is our panel. You come in, please, first contestant. <laughs> now then, will you tell our panel, please, what your name is and where you're from? I'm Mrs. Robert Precht. I'm from Washington, D.C. Mrs. Robert Precht, P-R-E-C-H-T, and she is from Washington, D.C. Now, Ms. Precht, here's how we play the game. Each of the panelists will get 15 seconds of actual questioning time. Then at the, at the end of that time, you'll hear this sound. <laughs> And then I'll pay you $10 and turn the game over to the next questioner, okay? Fine. Twice around the panel for a total loss of $80 and the game is over. All right. Now then, if you'll whisper your secret to me, the folks at home would certainly like to read what it is. <laughs> All right. To help classify the secret panel, I will tell you it concerns something that she is... And Jane, because you're wearing such a pretty dress, we'll call on you first. Something that you are, Mrs. Precht. Is this something that you have accomplished, that you have become this thing? Yes. It is something that you did, then, to become this thing? No, let's say that, uh, if I may overrule you, Mrs. Precht, it's not anything that really that she's accomplished. It's something that has been more or less uh, happily forced upon her. <laughs> Could it have been happily forced upon you when you became a Mrs.? No. no. Oh. Well, uh, would I be interested in the time <laughs> element involved in this happening to you? Did it happen recently? Mm. Not really. Then the time wouldn't help me? No. Uh, was there any other person or persons involved in this thing? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have $10 down and $70 to go. Henry Morgan. We, <clears throat> pardon me, were you born this? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, uh, are other members of your family involved in the secret? Yes. Now, this is a, you know, uh, one of those long shot things, but is it something like, I am the seventh daughter of a seventh daughter? Any, anything in that area? No. Uh, let me say, it's in, it's in, it's in the, uh, within the large, very large general area, because we don't want you to hate us after this is over. Well, does the answer say something about your brothers and sisters? No. Ah, that's nifty. Uh, does it say anything about your parents? Yes. Uh, we'll give you half a yes on that. $20 down and $60 to go. Faye Emerson. You just knocked my whole theory in the head. I thought certainly you were one of quadruplets or something, but that's not true. No. No. Um, but it has to do with your parents. Was this a newsworthy thing, your birth? No. 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 
Uh, I'm sure it got in the newspapers locally, but at the time, um, it wasn't headlines, I'm certain. Uh, was it the day on which you were born or the place in which you were born? No. Uh, not the time? No. Uh, oh, dear. One parent is in this. That's right. I gave you half a yes, so that means that one, uh, only one parent is... Uh, is, is... There, is your parent a famous person? Would we be interested in knowing the name of your parent? Yes. Uh, was he in the service? Pardon? Was he in the service? Was, he, was he in the service? Uh, no. 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 I meant uh, diplomatic service, you know. <laughs> meant... Oh, no, you didn't, you sneaky girl. <laughs> Let me say this. He wasn't in the service for uh, quite adequate reasons, but he did a tremendous amount for servicemen. $30 down and $50 to go. Bill Cullen. It was a man. I mean, we are interested in your father at the moment. Is that right, Miss Breck? Yes. Uh, <laughs> oh, wait, wait a minute. I'm, I'm the one who threw in the he, huh? Yeah, yeah. give another ten, Gare. Another what ten. What a stupid... Out of your little ten. All right. There you are. I threw in the he. Gary, because I said he before. Yeah. Did you say he? Yes, I took it for granted. I'll, I'll say he. Ten. Give another ten. Oh, no! Give it back to him? Yes, give her the ten. All right. Was your father a federal official? No, he wasn't. Uh, was, he a, was he a member of government? No, he wasn't. Uh, was he a businessman, primarily? No. Entertainer? Uh, we have to say entertainer, yes, but we can't say entertainer primarily, can we? No. All right, there's $40 down mm, and $40 happy. to go. Boy, you're going to hate me for that one. I have in mind somebody whose daughter she might be. Is your father, would your father be considered a composer? No, he isn't. <laughs> well, that idea. Uh, would your father be, your father is not a performer, is that right? He's not an actor? Hmm? Oh, I, I think he's a performer. Oh, I would never performer? call him an actor. Is he, is he a singer? No, he isn't. Or a comedian? No. He's a performer. <laughs> <laughs> is he a sports figure? No, he's not a sports figure, although terribly interested in sports. $50 down, $30 oh, to go. Uh, Henry? You think what? What? Well, look. A dancer? <laughs> nah. <laughs> yeah, they're also jugglers, you know, you left that out. Is your father ever in the entertainment business, per se? Yes. Uh, uh, let, let me straighten you out on one thing, panel. I, I fouled you up when I said he is not primarily a performer. Let me say this, that he is, uh, ranks high among performers, but he also has another field in which he ranks equally high. Therefore, he is primarily in two things. Producer? If that's possible. Producer? <laughs> Did uh, he have anything to do with sending entertainers to the troops? Yes, he did, Mr. I ought to say, oh boy, but I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> that, however, is not primary either. I'm going to cut you off, panel, and forfeit the entire $80 because I see nothing but blankness in your faces, excuse me, except Faye. This was not a man of the court by any chance. The religious <laughs> man also, was he? No. A very religious man, but not a man of the cloth. No, I not forfeited George my... Cohen. I forfeited my $80. No, not primarily. Will you tell them who your dad is? <laughs> Ed Sullivan. Oh. <laughs> Pardon? I knew your face because I met you when you were quite a lot younger. And I knew your face, and I thought, now, where would I know her face from? This That's is Betty Sullivan, or Elizabeth, as That's her right. father calls her. Aww. Betty, thank you very, very much for being with us. I hope you'll accept this carton of Cavaliers from us. Trick. Love your father. Fond of you, too, I come to find out. Thank Thanks you. so much. Bye-bye. <laughs>